everyone. Today my wife and I were shopping at Lytle and they had a coupon for $4.99 for one of their take and bake pizzas. It's a pretty decent sized pizza. We got the pepperoni pizza. It's got the sliced and diced pepperonis. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try and see how it is. You can see the sliced pepperonis and then they also throw some diced pepperonis in there. So it's kind of cool. You get two separate types of pepperonis on this pizza. You can see it's not too thick, not too thin of a pizza there. So as you can see, this is a pretty large pizza. So my pan is a 16 inch pan and it is the entire length of that pan. So I'm really hoping this pizza today from Lytle, the take and bake is, is good because you know, we got it for a great deal with it. It's normally 809 and we got it, it had a special on it for 499. And then with that $10 off $40 coupon that we had, it actually knocked a little over another dollar ten off of it, so we actually end up paying three eighty seven subtotal for this sixteen inch take and bake pizza. So let's hope that the the pizza tastes halfway decent because if it does, this will definitely get in the regular rotation. All right, so pizza's done. Let's go ahead and grab it out of the oven, and see how it looks. Yeehaw! Looks like it cooked up pretty good. You got you know you got a decent amount of pepperoni on there, which is really nice for you know value pizza like this. Not a bad looking pizza. Let's hope it tastes pretty good here. All right, so let's give this slice a try and see how it is. Not very good. That is unfortunate. The value on it is excellent, but the crust is very kind of tasting like cardboard. Sauce is just mediocre. Borderline, just I don't like the sauce, which somewhat makes sense because I don't really like the Lytle canned sauce, I guess, that they have. Yeah, it's, this is not, not very good. Not very good. Well, I guess you live and learn sometimes. It's always good to try something. I guess at least we didn't break the bank for this one. You know, for pizza, we're going to give this a 3.1. It's not very good. I, I don't see any reason why I would ever get this again. So yeah, I just cannot recommend the, the Lytle Take and Bake. Even though Lytle missed the mark on the Take and Bake pizza, it still is one of my favorite grocery stores. They have so many great products and such great prices. It's just a great place to go shopping at. The bakery is probably the main thing that sets Lytle apart from Aldi. They have all kinds of great breads, donuts, pastries, and they can have a bread slicer so you can slice your fresh bread that you get. That leads me to my first favorite item at Lytle, the baguette. The baguette is very tasty. We almost always get one whenever we come into Lytle. A second favorite item is the apple cider. It's a really great deal. and You're not going to find apple cider for $5.74 anywhere else. Number three is the bacon. The bacon at Lytle is really good. They have original and applewood smoked, and they're both very tasty. One thing you do have to watch out for when getting the bacon at Lytle is sometimes the packaging can come undone, and you can kind of tell the bacon looks bad, so you just have to kind of watch out for that because I've seen that happen multiple times when I've gone. The fourth item I love to get from Lytle is the creamers. The creamers are very tasty. We like the hazelnut, the French vanilla, and the sweet cream. We don't care for the vanilla caramel very much. The fifth thing we like to get from Lytle is the ice cream. The cookies and cream, vanilla bean, and cookie dough are all very good. Another bonus is you'll just find random things that you don't see anywhere else. I've never seen these shack waters before. When I go to Lytle, I actually love to use these Instacrates that I got from Costco. Uh, they were about eight to ten dollars at costco depending on if you get them when the coupon's active or not but these are super easy to to store and to set up